Hi guys, it's vlog number 54 and this one's entitled What is Incident Command Light? My name is Dr. Zero Miller and for almost a decade I have been with the Alangapo City Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office during some of their missions and their events. I mentioned on my previous vlog that I have been stationed with them at Clark last 2017 in a five-day event called the ASEAN Summit. A lot of things were classified and there were no videos or vlogs about that. This one, however, is a local event conducted last 2019. Every year, any city or municipality in the Philippines gets this chance to practice what, is, what we call as the incident command system. For three days, we coordinate the citywide response to what we call as the Oplan Sumba. For one week, everybody in the Philippines enjoys a seven-day vacation where they can go anywhere they want in the Philippines with their families. The last three days of these are the Good Friday, the Black Saturday, and the Easter Sunday. These are the busiest times of the year. Here we are in front of the City Hall of Alongapo where we have set up the Command Center. Each of us takes turns in briefing all of the groups every 8 a.m. of every single day. Command and control takes place here, but of course, each team or department has its operation center. I included a clip to show here that the City Health Department also has a task to prevent heat stroke prevention and information dissemination. And here we are doing our best to prepare for this uh, event. So everybody has their design task based on their mandate, but it's up to the DRRMO to have a centralized information gathering and accountability over the entire situation. There are some clips here sh that shows us goofing around during the downtime. These are priceless moments as there are but a few of them during these high pressure situations. What makes this week so special is that there is an influx of tourists and there is also a flow of residents from Zambales trying to make their way through Olongapo to get somewhere else during this vacation opportunity. These are planned events throughout the city and these include the Sinaculo, the Visitas Iglesias, the Grotto Visitation, and the Easter Egg Hunt Parties. Also, we have in Alongapo City the biggest inflatable island in all of Asia. We coordinate the flow of traffic and of course respond to all of the emergencies that may happen. The bloodless sinaculo is now the norm. It used to be that the sinners who would want repentance will do self-flagellation in public. Now that our city has banned this, some towns in the Zambales province continue this religious practice. For some reason, tourists love seeing this and they are drawn to visit those places and pass by Alangapo City. Of course, since our sinaculo does not feature this, we have lesser tourists coming our way. But we make sure that we continue with the tradition and the feature of the Passion of Christ in a much safer way. The next scene features the Easter egg hunt party done by a city right in front of the command center. Interestingly, this is happening throughout the city. Only a few of them notified the command which was a bit of a problem. This was the pre-COVID era and we still had a long way to go before everybody accepts the effort of what we are doing here. Today, the 911 emergency system has been activated and it's a step closer to making centralized command and control possible. Although I have been narrating most of this vlog that has been published previously, it contained musical elements that may have given my channel a penalty called reuse content. This is why I'm reposting this as a new vlog. If you like this vlog, go ahead and click the thumbs up sign. And hit the share button because I have like 300 more of these. Hit the bell and choose all to get notified when the next vlog will come up. In the days of the old YouTube, vlogs like this were A-OK. -okay. I will supplement this with a blog post or a Facebook post explaining it, but YouTube now acts like it's its own uh, social media platform form that must be curated and logged. So I need to explain it through narration and remake my entire huge channel which is now hindering any new entries as to my current experiences. 
The last part of this video is about me boarding an ambulance. I am a trained EMTB, firefighter, and a board certified physician. However, all of the training and certifications have made me overqualified, and I am left doing mostly stuff in disaster management. That's paperwork that is bundled with accountability. In the last few hours of this duty, I snuck in one of the ambulances just to get my hands dirty with a job. That there was a medical call from a part of the city that could be considered as an outskirt. No other ambulances were available since the previous ones attended a vehicular accident near the area. An elderly was having a heart attack and needs to be brought to a hospital. We were there within 5 minutes but the terrain was unforgiving. The clip doesn't show it but we ran to the house and carried the patient in a spine board to get him to our ambulance. Once we were there, I called the ER to coordinate the team to attend to the patient. The patient was having mild symptoms, so thank God for that, but we provided all the ABCs and monitored the patient the rest of the way. The GoPro remained attached to the seat so you can see us getting the patient on and then out to the hospital. The patient survived and I have to return to the command center afterwards to file the last of my paperwork. Being an internet command system allows everybody to be a part of a wide area response. Nobody is overworked. So everybody has a chance to be at their best at what they do. Some are instructed to do menial jobs like resource inventory, and yet some play the exciting role of a dispatch first responder. But whatever it is, accountability is the name of the game. In the end, the mayor judges the performance because it is he who has the ultimate accountability. In the end, what is important is what we all did, that we all did a job well done and all of Olongapo rests knowing that their lives are safe at the hands of the most capable persons. This video is published just in time for the National Disaster Consciousness Month this July of 2021. Now, this is a good awareness program of what disaster management is all about, so kudos to the brothers and cadres of the Olongapo Incident Management Team. We have been a benchmark of first response for so long and the city has received the Lincoln Bayan Award in Malacanang Palace. This vlog is brought to you by the Cyberlink Power Director. It is the best video editor for aspiring YouTubers out there. Check out my link at bit.ly slash 0MD Power Director to learn more and get the latest discounts. Again, this is 0MD, firefighter, physician, EMTB. Goodbye and peace out. See you on my next vlog adventure.